All right, I think this is gonna be my first like actual long YouTube video ever. Um, yeah, I've got the scope running behind me. I'm shooting the Western Veil Nebula, doing 10 seconds exposures. I've got the SV Bunny uh, 220 uh, dual narrowband filter going. Um, I'm using the ZWO uh, 533 MC Pro camera, um, a square sensor. And I've got the Star Adventure GTI mount. Um, and then I've got an NRL uh, tripod. I purchased separately so it could be more stable. Um, you can't see behind me, I've got a GoPro Hero 8 Black running uh, for time lapse shots. I've got this uh, thunderstorm rolling in behind me, as you can see, which is kind of unique, but it's headed west um, over the north end of the valley, so I shouldn't have any problems with it raining tonight. Um, right now, I'm still manual focusing using a Batnov mask. Um, it is a full moon tonight, um, so conditions aren't perfect. Uh, seeing is poor. Uh, transparency should be good, though. So, first clear night in a long time, so I figured I'd get out and shoot. And what a better backdrop to start a first video in than with a thunderstorm rolling in behind me. Um, I've got six and a half hours I got while camping. Um on this target so far. I plan to add to that data. I'm doing a HOO pallet, which is putting the hydrogen alpha data in the red channel and then putting the oxygen three data into the green and blue channels. I'm using a Jackery battery box 1000. Um, I'm powering the GoPro, the mount on my phone with it at the moment. It's it's done pretty good so far. Uh, the most I've used in one night powering the entire rig for eight hours is 20%. So it's more than capable of going on multi-night excursions, which was the goal. Um, right now I'm just shooting in the backyard. So I've got a fair amount of light pollution and Wardle 4, Wardle 5. Um, and with the added moon, that does not help. I am guiding with the 120 mm mini um, from ZW, ZWO, of course, and I run the ASI Air Mini. Now, one thing I've seen, uh, I, I'm a little superstitious. For example, I run the 533 MC Pro on 101 gain instead of 100 gain, like the settings recommend. Um, Another thing I do is I keep this surge protector. Um, I I really don't need it. The Jackery box has one built in, but I'm just superstitious like that. And I already put it on there, and I don't really want to take it off. Um, and that way I can also just plug directly into a 120 outlet um, without any issue. As for the scope itself, um, I'm using the SV Boney uh, 50370ED, so, and right now I have it at, uh, with the focal reducer, it's at 336 millimeter focal length, if I remember correctly. Um, so not, not very close in, but it does great for wide view. I've, I've felt that for most targets, it is substantial. Um, I may reevaluate which camera I'm using at some point in the near future when I'm doing things like the Andromeda Galaxy and the California Nebula, or I will have to do a mosaic. So those are some projects upcoming. Up until now, I've just kind of done shorts, but I plan on doing some longer content, some education, how to use the gear, how to get started. Um, if anyone has any recommendations or questions, uh, Feel free to ask. I'll try and address them in videos or make specific videos about it if it's if it's a, a topic that is worth delving into. For example, one of the many things that I think is worth delving into is running the uh, Star Venture GTI without an ASI error. Uh, there seems to be a lot of folks that have confusion with how to use the star alignment um, and polar alignment on the GTI. And then they have issues in the app with the go-to, and it's it seems to be a bit of a mess. But I, I've got 
a workflow worked out for it. And so I will do a video in the future covering that and how to get started with basic gear. I use a Canon Rebel T7. That's what I started out with. I started out with just the tripod that I've got the GoPro on behind me. Um, you don't need expensive gear to start. Most of the gear that I have right now, I got on clearance or on budget. I'm somewhere in the two grand range, which I know doesn't sound like budget, but for some of the images I've produced so far, I feel like that's a pretty fair starting point. And another important thing to consider when starting out in astrophotography is to make your gear modular. And what I mean by modular is make it so that you can upgrade and add to the rig in the future so you don't get locked and stuck with the gear you have. <clears throat> so for example, I, I started out with the GTI. I thought it was a solid choice. Um, I was able to comfortably use my... Uh, Canon Herbal T7 on the GTI. And then I switched over to the 70 millimeter uh, doublet refractor, the SV Boney. And uh, I was able to run my Canon camera with uh, just the StarVenture GTI and an intervalometer. Um, and then eventually I got tired of the process of uh, not having my, all, my gear all hooked together. So I bought the ASI or Mini and upgraded my camera to the 533 MC Pro. In combination with a dual narrowband filter. One of the best decisions I've made because it picks up much more of that uh, hydrogen alpha and oxygen three um, and blocks out most light pollution. It's very, very thin wavelengths of light that it captures. Another piece of gear I use is the Optolong L Pro. Um, I just use that as a broadband target filter just because I'm in a Bortle 5 backyard. Um, but I tend not to use that filter when I'm out, like say in the desert, just shooting for a full night with zero light pollution. Um, yeah, that's my setup. Uh, we'll cut to the a montage of the gathering the photos and then we'll cut to Cyril. Mm -hmm. 